Hello everyone, um, this is a cute little toddler jumper that I've made um, recently that I'm just going to tell you about today. Uh, welcome back to The Bear Threads and um, please like and subscribe if you want to see more of videos like this. So this is another jumper sweater that I've made for my son, he's three and a half now. Um, I have used this pattern by Waves and Wild, it's the Driftwood Dolman sweater that I always always call Dogwood for some reason that I don't really know because where's that name come from in my head anyway sleep deprivations caused that I think um, I've made this pattern numerous times um, and all the ones that I made for him kind of last year they were all a little bit on the snug side when I made them I think with sweaters I just need to size up for him it's weird t-shirts tops trousers they all always seem to come out too big like when I buy them as well as when I make them um but jumpers are always too small I don't quite get the sizing <laughs> um but anyway I need to make him some more because he doesn't have enough jumpers that actually fit he has about a million jumpers that don't fit and I just want to use up as much of the like scraps of fabric that I have in my drawer that I can and making stuff for him is just the easiest best way to do that um, a lot of them are like reasonably big pieces but like I can't make anything for me with like half a metre or even a metre would be really pushing it. So I had this brown sweatshirting fabric that I bought for myself and made myself a jumper with. It was either the I Am Lion or the I Am Zebra because I made them both and they're kind of similar. One has poofy shoulders and one has poofy around the wrists. I didn't love the colour. Uh, when I bought it I thought it was going to be more of like a red terracotta brown rather than this shade of brown and I just didn't love it when I got it. But I made the jumper for me and I still had some left over so I decided to make a jumper for my son. Um, I didn't have enough to do, so the front piece is just supposed to be one, uh, one piece for the front bodice just like the back, there isn't supposed to be a centre seam um, and I didn't have enough so I was going to have to um, cut two out anyway. I decided to use a strip of yellow down the middle to um, join them together and I also thought it would be kind of eye-catching and fun and to use like the bright yellow would make it look a little bit more interesting and then also then it made sense to do the yellow for the neckband, the yellow for the um, wrist cuffs and then the yellow for the uh, waistband as well and this yellow fabric is just some jersey fabric that I got in like a mystery box at some point and I can't remember which company it was from. Um, might have been Minerva. The, the, the brown sweatshirting is definitely from Minerva. I'm not 100% sure but um, it's just some um, like t-shirt weight yellow jersey that I had a small amount of um, and it's a little bit stretchier than the brown um, so it makes sense to do it around the neck and the cuffs and then also the waist just to kind of match um, and then also I had this <laughs> funny line down the middle I mean I am glad I used the yellow because I do think it's easier with the neckband and everything to get it on over his head because it is a little bit stretchier but also I think if I'd just done it all in the brown it might look like he was part of a really tiny cult like a cult for tiny people I don't know there's something about the brown although now that I'm looking at the back I kind of like it without the stripe down the middle like that looks good Anyway, that's not what happened, we got a stripe. The other thing that I had to do was that I didn't have enough to make um, the full sleeve in the brown, so I don't know if you can see I've added a bit of yellow here, but then I've also done the cuff in yellow. So it does give the impression that one of the cuffs is just twice the size than the other one, which looks a little bit odd. It actually isn't, it's just part of the sleeve. It almost would have been better if I'd done than the cuff in the brown on this side would have looked a bit more intentionally asymmetrical but then the problem would have been that perhaps the brown would have been stretchy enough um, and it's already a nightmare to try and sew these little cuffs on like on the sewing machine because you don't have a lot of space to get in there and sew them and then it would have been hard for him to get them over his hands which is the problem that he has with one of his jumpers now is that the cuffs are so tight you'd really like pull his little hand through um, 
I'm really pleased with this. I mean, it's just a quick project, it's a quick make, and from the outside, it looks absolutely fine and pretty cute. He's worn it, he likes it, he worked in nursery, got it covered in food, it's been through the wash and it has mostly washed out. I don't think you can see that there is a slight stain on it still, so, and that's gonna happen. I can't be too precious about the things that I make for him. Um, the issue really is the, is the, the inside. As usual, I am just not neat. <laughs> I rush and I'm not neat and I'm not neat on the inside and I mean it doesn't really need to be in my son's because he doesn't really care that much as long as it's like structurally sound but the really stupid thing that I did so this is the inside well it's kind of fun on the inside the really stupid thing I did around like the neck band is I use green thread can you see I use green is that showing or is it a bit too fuzzy um, yeah, I sewed it all with like green thread. I just used what was in my machine. <laughs> I'm so lazy, lazy and impatient and I, that's why I rush. Um, so yeah, everything's got like very visible green, is it me? Everything's got very visible green, <laughs> um, green thread on the inside. Actually, that's not true. Um, some of this has got Brown. I must have used. A, I must have used a variety of colours. It's whatever. I think one one ran out. I just shoved another one on. Whatever I already had to hand, and I should have just used a brown for the whole thing or a yellow. I don't know. It's just something that would have matched. That's the big problem, and you can kind of see it when it's hanging up because the top of the uh, neck band does poke out of the top, so that does make it look a little bit scruffy. But when he's wearing it, you can't see that at all, and that's always the case with clothes, isn't it? When he's wearing it, you can't see it at all, and like I said, he doesn't care, and it, it already has got mucky at nursery, and it will get more mucky as time goes on. I can't not let him wear the clothes I make for him for fear of them getting dirty, because that would just be ridiculous. What's the point of making the clothes? So, um, I don't want to spend too much time making them look neat and perfect. On the flip side, I would quite like to generally become a neater sewer. The two things are not really reconciling very well. If anyone has any thoughts, suggestions, tips on how I can improve there, um, but really I think it is just me needing to slow down and just take a bit more care in my work. Um, but yeah, that is my most <laughs> most recent make. That's the lie actually, because this was my first make of 2024, and since then I have actually made another pair of joggers for him, which I have already done the video for. I didn't do these first because we left the jumper at nursery so I was waiting for it to come back and then be washed and um, before I could do the video but um, this is my most recent video let me know what you think in the comments and uh, like I said like and subscribe for more of these videos and I'll see you next time